What's up, Fire Family? Happy Wednesday. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do a collective reading. Sending you all lots of love, light, healing, energy, and abundance. Exo, exo. And happy Thanksgiving to all of you. Um, I can't believe 22 is about to be over, y'all. Because after Thanksgiving, Christmas comes. And y'all know the time is going to fly by. All right. So, um, yes, happy Thanksgiving. I hope you all enjoy um, the holidays with your families, friends, the children. Um, are you guys cooking? If so, what are you guys cooking? What are y'all doing for Thanksgiving? Comment below. Let me know. All right. Um, I just got to make it to the store today, and that's it. Like, I did everything. I just got to go um, and get my eggnog and my grandma. Yay. And I'm done. I got every. Oh, and I need a. Oh, my goodness. I cannot find. I need a tablecloth for the kitchen so I can have all my decorations. And I can't find one that I really like. And I, I found a couple, y'all, but it's white. And y'all know I got the boys. And I'm like, mm-mm, they would tear that shit up. So I was like, I need to find one that's, like, super cute that I like to where, like, if they do make a spill, I can, like, wipe it off. You know, but it still is nice. Like, you know, I forgot what they're called, but you guys know what I'm talking about, right? So, yes, that's the only thing that I have to get. So hopefully me and the boys can make it to the store after I upload all the readings today. And I can find one that I really like so I can just be done. Because I got everything out the way. I got all the Christmas decorations pulled out from the garage and everything. So I'm like ready, y'all. All right. Um, let's see. So I'm using the Evil Eye deck, all right. Um, haters exposed. I know you guys said you like this deck. So let's pull a couple messages and see like what's going on. I wanted to switch it up a little bit today. All right. So let's see. Messages for the collective. Give me um, a few messages for the collective. Okay. Wow. I cannot believe this. All right. Whew. Sure. All right. Whew. A raw energy just... This person blocked them on social media, or maybe you blocked them or deleted them. This person steals your work and claims it is theirs. All right? It keeps trying to come out. Let's just put it to the side. Okay? Um, but, guys, mm, 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 mm. these messages are a little stank. I don't know. I don't like them. Okay? It says, they ask their spirit team every day to make your life miserable. Who does that? Okay. And it says, they are purposely causing problems with your love connections. And it says, this hater is your ex-best friend. <clears throat> mm -mm -mm. This person loves you to talk about them because it brings them clout. All right. So, let's see what this is about, y'all. Huh? No, like, this is crazy. For some of you guys, it's your ex-best friend. For some of you guys, I feel like it's an ex-best friend and an ex-lover, okay? Um, why am I saying that? Because I feel like whoever this is, I feel like this is a jealous ex. And I feel like you have moved on and they don't like the fact that you have moved on, okay? So, let's see. Who has time for this, though? Seven of Swords and the Death card. Yep, Two of Wands are reverse. For some of you guys, it's like somebody is being shady because some type of relationship ended and you don't fuck with them anymore. You don't want to deal with them, whether it's an ex best friend, whether it's an ex lover, you know, um, and they don't like that. For some of you guys, an ex best friend doesn't like the fact that you're in a serious relationship or a commitment and that you have somebody that you love, like you have a strong bond and a connection with somebody and they don't like that. They feel like this relationship that you have with this, like whoever you're with, they feel like it took away from them. Like they feel like now they don't have the relation, that relationship with you anymore. So, they're, like, jealous about that. They're, like, jealous. Like, dang, like, you got this new love, and now that you got this new person, like, our relationship is different, and now you're giving attention to them, all right? For some of you guys, we have that other card that came out. This person steals your work and claims it is theirs. So, some of you guys, somebody is stealing your work and your idea, all right? Um, and your ideas, all right? So, copying and pasting, all type of shit, you know? So, let's see. 
Three of Swords, the World card, the Empress. Yeah, somebody is definitely jealous, heartbroken, torn, crying over you. Somebody is still in love with you guys. They fight with themselves every day. There's an ex-best friend or somebody that did you wrong or that hurt you, that played you. And they battle with themselves. They fight with themselves because they really love you and think that you were a really nice, genuine person. See, look, the Empress with the Ace of Cups. Like, you did a lot for them. And I feel like you guys were like a friend that, like, bought them things or did things for them. You know, gave them things they never had. Showed them, like, a new life. You know, you were just a really great person. I feel like you also, like, helped and inspired this person. And I feel like that's what they battle with. I feel like... For some of you guys, there was a group of people, or it was like people they were hanging around that wanted them to purposely hurt you. And I feel like once they got to know you, they were like, no, you're not that type of person. They seem like the good in you, but it was already too late because these people that are around them forced them to do it. Or it's just like because they're, they were in that group or around those people, they felt like, okay, like, well, I have to do it. You know, so let's see. They ask their spirit team every day to make your life miserable. Who does that? <sighs> the crazy world we live in. So spirit, please guide me through this reading for the collective. Let's expose their haters and how they really feel towards them. All right. So let's see. They ask their spirit team every day to make your life miserable. Why is this here? Yep, lovers. So, yeah, this is for some of you guys. is somebody that you guys were in love with. Or like I said, it was like a friendship. It was somebody that you guys really care about, really love, really care about. You had a lot of love for this person. I feel like this person still has a lot of love for you. But they want to make your life miserable if they're not in it or around you. Because this person is like holding on to their heart like the angel is. So, it's like your angels or whoever is around you that is, you know, aware of the situation. Your angels are like, damn, like, how could you be so cool? How can you do this, you know? Some of you guys don't even probably realize that this is happening or going on. Could be a Gemini that's doing this. Let me see. Messages for the collective. We have the five of cups. Yeah. They're doing it because they're hurting. They haven't got over you. Maybe you got over them. Maybe you don't fuck with them. But they're still hurting over you. So they're asking to make your life miserable. They want you to feel how they feel. Go into the five of cups. Yeah, they want you to feel how they feel. We have king of swords in verse. Mm -hmm. And I feel like with this King of Swords in reverse and this Five of Cups, this is someone that came off as if they didn't have feelings or as if they didn't care. But the King of Swords in reverse is right as cold and heartless. So they don't really care about feelings and how people feel. Like this would be somebody that would want to make your life miserable or they would want to, like, you know what I'm saying? Like this is somebody that just doesn't give a fuck. They don't care. Because it's the King of Swords in reverse with the Five of Cups. But then it's like a part of them loves you and cares about you. So it's like, how could you do that? You know? So as long if you're not giving them what they want, they're going to keep doing this. Mm. What's this King of Swords Reavers? Why is the King of Swords Reavers? Page of Wands. Yep. Until they hear from you, or until you give them any type of attention, they're going to keep doing this. Page of Wands. This is also somebody that doesn't like rejection or doesn't like to feel rejected. They don't like to feel left out. This is somebody that, you know, feels like it's okay for them to do what they did to you. But the fact that you're ignoring them, blocking them out, not showing them any attention, it fucks with them. It affects them. Okay? If not, then this is somebody that went towards an air I mean, sign and asked them to, like, do this towards you because they're hurting. It could be a water sign that asked the air sign. You know, that help them make your life miserable. You know, stuff like that. Why is the page of wands here? We have the seven of cups. So. Sorry, y'all guys. I'm saying three of swords. Mm. Let me see something. This looks like a lover. An ex-lover. Let me pull the card. Let me see. Seven of Cups here for the of Swords when it comes to the King of Swords River. What are they feeling? What's going on? Working, working on the relationship, August romance being over for all the 
So the problem and issue is, is that they want to work on this deal. They still want to be with you, but you guys don't want to be with them. And you guys took off the rose-colored glasses. You guys stopped fucking with them and dealing with them. There was a lot of gossip and a lot of things you found out. Okay? And I feel like the gossip or whatever you found out was true. And for that reason, you cut this person off. But this person still sees you in their future and still wants to be with you with future plans. They feel like you're their soulmate. And they don't understand how or why you let go of them the way you did. So they're having a hard time processing that still. Okay? I feel like maybe you guys never rejected them before. Or um, maybe you gave them, like, multiple chances, you know? And I feel like the last time around, you were like, no, fuck that. I'm not doing that. And this person still wants you in their life. They, To them, it's like... They don't understand why you don't want to fuck with them. It says making plans together, envisioning your future, taking steps towards goals. So this person still wants to work on the relationship, working on the relationship. Like despite the gossip and everything you heard, it's like regardless if it was true or not, they still want to work on this relationship. They still want to be with you. And by you not wanting to be with them or fuck with them, they're like, well, fine. Then I'll just make your life miserable. I'll just fuck up your love life. So this person is purposely causing problems with your love connections. So for some of you guys, you're meeting people and you may be meeting potential people, like people that where there's potential there. But then it's like the relationship doesn't work out because as soon as they find out, as soon as they sent somebody in your energy, then they just do negative things or send negative energy towards you and that person or just towards you in general so that your love connections won't go anywhere, like so they won't prosper, okay? That's what they're doing. Mm-hmm. That's what this person is doing. Let's see. Let's get a love work over the King of Swords. Let's see. King of Swords in reverse. Give me a love work over the King of Swords in reverse. It could be no fancy bird. Gemini I with that King of Swords. See, look, lessons learned. See, and I feel like you don't want to, that's why you don't want to deal with them. Because you learned your lesson here. And you're like, no, I'm not going to fuck with them anymore. But to them... They don't look at it like that. <laughs> they feel like you're just supposed to forget them and get back with them. Yeah, see, they're mad because you freed yourself. And then, look, we have someone new. It came out of reverse. So I'm going to take it like that. They don't want you to be with anybody else but them. They don't want that. They want you to still put up with them and deal with them. And they don't like the fact that you freed yourself from them. Like, the fact that they didn't end it and that you ended it and don't want to fuck with them, it bothers them. And they don't like that. So going to someone new in reverse. Someone new in reverse. Why is this here? See, look, three of pentacles. I told you. Look, three of pentacles in reverse. We have the six of pentacles in reverse. I told you, you guys meet potential partners. But then it all messes up. They only want you to be with them. They don't want you to be with anybody else. Queen of pentacles sometimes in reverse can be somebody that is like, she dates and she talks to people, but... Like, she only wants to commit to a certain type or a certain person or, like, the people that she's dating is, like, she doesn't see herself moving forward with them or she just stops liking them or she just feels like, you know, like, she she's doing all the work or putting all the work and energy into it and she, don't, she doesn't want to give more. You know, she doesn't want to keep giving because she feels like she's not receiving. But how I'm seeing this is the death card at the bottom of the deck. They're ending these relationships, causing problems, ups and downs in your relationship. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Somebody just... Mm, they got too much time on their hands. I'm going to put these back in the deck. They got too, many, too much time on their hands. But that's why. They don't want you to be with somebody new. So whoever this is, it's like you learned the lesson and you moved on. You freed yourself. And they don't like that. And so now they're doing whatever they got to do to make your life miserable. And they're purposely causing problems in your love connections. Whether it's with, like, friends, family, lovers. For a lot of you guys, it's lovers. Okay, let's see. They are purposely causing problems with your love connections. This can also be this ex-best friend here that's doing it. You know, that, like, feels some type of way and doesn't understand why you guys are not friends, why, why you're not talking to them, all of that. They are purposely causing problems with your love connections. Yeah, see, so I told you, some of you guys are meeting good people, are meeting potential partners. Could be it towards the Capricorn. See, and then we got the two of wands in reverse. And they don't, they're jealous. They don't want you to move forward in your relationships. That's what this is about. See, the magician in reverse. They're doing something shady and manipulative behind your back. 
somebody is doing like some spill work, some magic, something like that, or they're sending negative energy towards you guys to purposely mess up your love connections. Going to the King of Pent I mean, going to the Two of Wands universe. The Two of Wands universe is something staying put. It's not going anywhere. You know, it's like it's a situation where like it's not going anywhere. Um, let me see. Are the Two of Wands universe? Yep, see, temperance reverse. You and your partner or your, the people that you're dating could be Sagittarius energy. You guys keep clashing and getting into it, you know? And it comes to a point where, like, you guys can't seem to, like, reconcile your differences or find balance or bring balance to the relationship. You guys just keep clashing with each other. Um, yeah, see, and then we have the Knight of Pentacles reverse. The Knight of Pentacles reverse is, like, broken promises. It's, like, offers not coming or no longer wanting to be in the relationship, you know? Um, you feel like your person or this situation is never going to change. Why is it not the pentacles in reverse? The star in reverse. This is you giving up, losing hope and faith in your person, the connection, the relationship. But you have the king of pentacles there, but you don't see it like that because somebody is sending and bringing this negative energy towards your relationships. Yeah, but we have the devil in reverse with the empress. Five of swords in reverse. It's also telling me, though, that for those of you that know this energy is being sent to you, you have to really block it out or free yourself from this energy or believing or thinking that the energy is coming towards you. So what I mean by that is like you have to block it out so that even if it is being sent back, that you are so protected and that you are so confident in the fact that it's not going to affect you, that you are automatically returning it to sender. You know, or you're just bouncing it off of you and not allowing it to affect you. So you guys got to be like very strong and protect and shield your energy at this time. Keep calling in Archangel Michael. Keep calling in your ancestors. Keep praying about it. You know, ask your spirit to help you, your guides, to help this energy, you know, bounce off. For some of you guys, it is causing problems in your relationship, but it's not affecting your partner. It's affecting you and it's making you want to run away from the relationship or end it. But your partner is like not giving up or the people you are dealing with are not giving up. Because it's not, it hasn't affected them just yet. It's really only affecting you. Because it's somebody that you guys were attached to and have love and feelings for. Why is the star reverse? Could be an Aquarius. Why is the star reverse? What I tell you guys, look. Nine of Wands, look, Queen of Wands reverse. The Queen of Wands reverse does black magic. See, four pentacles reverse. They're trying to get rid of your person. They're trying to purposely get rid of your person. They're trying to have you in this defensive our mean, our negative energy to where you like are just pushing your person away or doing things to push them out or push them away from you and not want the relationship. So some of you guys, that's why your relationships are failing right now because this person is purposely causing problems. Could be an Aries, you know, Sagittarius that is doing this. Let me see. Give me a love message for this. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like this. We have boundaries, blocking someone, holding your space, cut off contact. That's what I'm saying. Then I tell you guys that you guys are going to have to really set some boundaries and really pray on this and shield and protect yourself and be in such a strong energy that even, even if they try to see you something, like I said, it bounces back on them or returns to cinder or get your return to cinder oil, your hot foot oil, all of that. I have all of that shit on my website. Get all of that, guys. Like, protect and shield yourself and your energy so that people will not come in between your relationships and your connections. You know, because like I said, you guys could be meeting people um, and having these relationships, but it's like everything bad is happening, and it's due to the negative energy that people are sending and sending you. All right? Some of you guys need to get away and clear your energy, be around um, be around water, okay? Um, somebody is also trying to come in between you guys um, like your marriage are you guys moving in together so if you and your person are like married and you're having problems in your marriage that's why um, if you guys are trying to find a place to stay or move in together or every time you guys try to go look for a place or try to move in together and they like keep denying you or oh this and that like they're doing that purposely to affect the relationship so you know for some of you guys if your person is having a hard time finding a job or you're not getting that raise or promotion all that type of stuff they're doing things that are affecting you guys' relationship and stopping you from moving forward that's what they're doing okay so whoever is doing this is on purpose and it's stupid it's petty and it's childish all right the um this hater is your ex-best friend let's see and there's a teardrop in this in this eye right here so the ex-best friend somebody can be like really hurt 
They're really hurt over the ending of you guys' relationship or they're really hurt over what happened between you guys. And they have, they're like going that extra mile just to try to sabotage you, your life, your relationship, everything. This hater is your ex-best friend. Let's see. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, I told you. There's a friend in your life that's really jealous and they feel left out. And they also feel like since you guys, like I said, got with somebody, they feel like you've changed. See, look, they're like, uh-uh, I'm putting an ending to this. So, look, the Five of Pentacles and the Death card, yeah. They're like, no, there is nobody else but me. Somebody has a really jealous uh, best friend or ex-best friend. Let's see why the Five of Pentacles is here. Maybe you guys are like ride or die down for each other, did everything together. When you guys got into some type of relationship or met someone and they want this person out the picture or got the person out of your life because they felt like that was coming in between what you guys had. Going to the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, see the higher font. See, they teamed up with somebody. The higher font can also be like, you know, people that are in type of spiritual groups or... You know, people that they, they went to somebody that knows how to do work or somebody that's, you know, very intuitive and stuff like that. Yeah, and I feel like they had to go look for somebody. Not a sword thing verse. At first, they weren't going to do it because they couldn't find nobody. But they it looks like they found somebody that like, does spiritual work and stuff like that. And they did it to, like, sabotage or destroy your relationship. You know, let me see. Why is this higher front here? Could be a Taurus you got to deal with. Look, see, Ten of Swords. They try to destroy you guys. Look, Ten of Swords is here. Look, see, Ace of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. They want their relationship back. And this person was willing to do anything. And I feel like once you guys ended the relationship or the relationship ending, ended, sorry, then that's when trouble came your way. It also affected your finances too. Some of you guys are making really good money and you guys are doing really good financially. And I feel like you guys have had some financial issues this year. And it's from this person. Yeah. I feel like your best friend loved you more than you guys knew. Or you guys just had that type of relationship where there was just a lot of love. Yeah. And they won't stop or won't be happy until they feel like they're going to get the relationship or the friendship back. Yeah. So this person is just like whoever your best ex-best friend is or whoever this person is, they're going to just keep trying to fuck with you guys. Like this person is willing to spend money, talk to people, or keep fucking with you guys. Because they feel like they just they feel like they lost you. They feel like they they lost the relationship. But they're the reason why the relationship is so fucked up. And it's all over the fact that you guys got into a relationship or they feel like you chose somebody else over them. For some of you guys, you guys could have had a this may not even be a lover, this may be like another friend. You got another friend, they felt like you decided to be with the other friend over them. You know, and they don't like that. Going to the this hater is your ex-best friend. They don't like the fact that you had a new best friend or another friend. And it always has just been y'all. They don't like that. Yeah, see, low-key. To not announce something to treat with ill in, little emphasis. Secretly not showing info hidden. Yep, see, this person was low-key doing stuff behind y'all back. Mm-hmm. Because with Swerve, they didn't like how things changed in the relationship between you guys. Or they wanted that person out the motherfucking picture, whoever you guys are dealing with. Some of you guys are influencers, okay? And I feel like your views have been down or certain things have been down. Like maybe your channel, your social media, stuff like that. They could be also sending negative energy out, leaving bad reviews or comments, telling people negative stuff. You know, like, oh, don't go to them, don't shop with them, don't talk to them, stuff like that. They're doing it on purpose. That person is that mad. We have this person loves you to talk about them because it brings them clout. So let's see. What is this about? Justice in reverse. Mm -hmm, the emperor reverse. This person doesn't, they feel powerless without you in their life. And they like the fact that you like had a lot of power and control and you knew a lot of people. And that you used to talk about them or brag about them or post them or do certain stuff in regards to them it brought them attention or it made them feel good or stroked their ego and it could be an aries or a libra that is involved yeah i see the queen of cups in reverse you guys were dealing with a friend or dealing with somebody that was like very insecure you know not confident you know naive gullible let me see see the queen of swords in reverse and they had another side to them all these reversals. This person turns on you guys. This person was a bitch deep down inside and was always jealous of you. 
But as long as you were around them and kept them in your life, I feel like they didn't show you guys that other side. And now that you guys aren't dealing with each other, you guys aren't friends, it's like now that other side has come out. Yeah. Ten of Wands in reverse. Ace of Swords. They something keeps telling them to stop. Like a partner wants to stop fucking with you guys. But another part of them is like, no, they're not gonna stop. Yep, they're gonna keep doing it. Mm, I wonder why. Why are they gonna keep doing it? Let me see. Nine of Cups in reverse and the fool. Because they because they just they feel shattered, they're hurt. Um, it's going to take them a while to get over this. I also feel like because things aren't going well in their life. Or until they meet somebody that they really like or go towards a new beginning or go towards a lifestyle that they want. They're going to keep trying to fuck with you guys. And this person is also not as strong and as confident as you guys either. Alright, so I just feel like there's a lot of reasons why. I feel like there's multiple reasons why this person is doing this. Okay. As far as this person steals your work and claims it as theirs, I feel like somebody is just like copying and pasting or stealing somebody's ideas or work or something like that. Um, let's see what this says. I'm just going to this card. This person steals your work and claims it as theirs. Let's see. The Nine of Swords. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, but I feel like whoever it is, they're not profiting. They're not making money. It's not changing their business. It's not changing. It's not bringing them more customers. I mean, they have return clients and people that are coming in, but they're still not profiting. They're still not getting much out of it. It's not worth it. So it's like it, they they stole your ideas or stole, you know, the way that you do things because they thought it would bring them more success in business, but it's not. It's not. Yeah, that's what they were stressing over. It's not changing anything in their situation. Mm -mm. That's because this person is ungrounded and unstable. And until they get into a stable energy, things are not going to flourish and grow for them. So it's going to always be like this. And yeah, see the King of Cups in reverse. Three of Pentacles. This person has to also love what they're doing. And when they do that, then they'll make more money. They are making some type of money, but it's not going to be like that. All the money that you lost, the business, all that type of stuff, are the slow sales, slow views, whatever is going on with you guys. It's going to come back to you guys. Eight of Cups in reverse with the ace of pentacles i also feel like with judgment in this in the hangman i don't know why i feel like there's a planet that was either in retrograde or something that was keeping you stuck and stagnant and it had you feel it didn't have you feeling successful or some of you guys just weren't feeling successful or lucky it had to do something with them but i also feel like it had to do something with a planet or something shifting and changing and now that something is going direct or moving forward with the chariot and the moon that's how i said that i feel like now that's going to change everything i feel like now your success and luck and all that is going to change okay um, I feel like now it's like all the success and everything is going to come in because now something is shifting and changing in your life as well. And it has something to do with them, but it doesn't. So even if they try to do something, steal or take your ideas or whatever, I feel like it's still not going to work because you're still just going to be in that energy of like good luck, fortune, stuff like that coming towards you, the universe blessing you. It could even be that the universe is blessing you due to everything that you've been through. But I feel like there's two people, guys. I feel like there's an ex-lover and an um, ex-best friend. For some of you guys, it's just one person. So maybe your ex-lover was your best friend as well. You know what I'm saying? So take it how it resonates. All right? But, yeah, this is crazy, y'all. People have no life nowadays. Mm -hmm. But, yep, this is the reading. All right, guys, if it resonated, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. If you guys would love to book with me, fireintuition.com. All you guys can now book on my online shop, mytearshopheelmyheart.com. And follow your girl on Facebook. I am on Facebook, guys. I do post over there as well. So follow me and support me on my Facebook page, Fire Intuition. All right. I love you, Fire Fam. Again, enjoy your holiday. I will get the water and air signs out and post it today. I did a couple already, but they will be posted sometime today. All right, guys, so don't message me at 7 or 8 and be like, hey, you forgot about this. No, I didn't. If it get posted at 10, look, that's not the end of the day. The end of the day to me is 11.59 p.m., all right? So they will be posted, all right? I promise. I love you guys. Enjoy your holiday, and I will see you guys probably on, I'm hoping on Friday, if I'm not too busy. If not, Monday, but I know that'll be a long time, so 
Hopefully on Friday I can just like pop in and do a quick daily reading or something for you guys. All right. I love you. Stay dope. Enjoy your holidays. And I'll see you guys in the next collective reading. Bye, Fire Camp.